Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 21, Correlation Analysis, Part 1. In this class, we're going to look at uh, Pearson's correlation statistic, which allows us to measure the strength and nature of a relationship between two interval or ratio measured variables. To begin, let's start with going over a scatter plot, which is a graph that shows the pattern of association or relationship between two variables. Typically, the independent variable is represented on the x-axis, and the dependent variable is on the y-axis. The scatter plot is a useful tool to explore the relationships between variables. In particular, we're interested in knowing the strength of relationship and the direction of the relationship. Is it a positive relationship or a negative relationship? This is the, using a scatter plot is the best way to identify the type of a relationship or dependence that may exist between two variables. For example, the, uh, we are interested in knowing the difference between monotonic and non-monotonic relationships and linear versus non-linear relationships. Let's go and look at a few examples of these concepts. First of all, monotonic means there are no reversals in the slope of the relationship. So on the left hand side we have a monotonic relationship. Mono meaning single, tonic meaning tone, but a, you know, a type. So here we have a monotonic relationship because the relationship is positive and always increasing. On the right hand side we have a non-monotonic relationship because it starts off as if there's a positive relationship between the two variables and then at some point there's an inflection and it and the relationship becomes negative. That's a non-monotonic. This is a positive monotonic and a negative monotonic would just look like this. Something that's always negative but uh, uh, something that's a, a negative relationship that doesn't change directions. If this was non-monotonic, you know, that's something could start off negative and then it could turn positive after some time. So we've got a negative relationship, then a positive relationship. We also have the difference between linear and nonlinear relationships. Linear is a special case of a monotonic relationship for which the slope of the relationship is constant over the range of x. So here we see that no matter where we are on this in this scatter plot, if we were to estimate a slope through the through the curve or a trend line through the curve, it would always have the same slope. Okay, so we can represent that slope with a line. On the right hand side, this is monotonic, it, it's always uh, positive, but we see that over in this section of the slope, in this section of the of values of x, we have one slope, and then in this section we have another slope and then in this last section the slope is yet another um, has another value. So we see that the slope of the relationship changes as x goes from small to large. In this case the slope of the relationship stays the same and that's the definition of what a linear relationship is. I mean another way to think of this if you're familiar with algebra is a linear relationship is something that can be uh, estimated with a uh, with a, with an equation that is y equals m x plus b, where b is the uh, y intercept and m is just a slope. In here, we see that m is some constant like one or two, and what that tells us is that the slope never changes. Okay, the slope is always going to be this m. Scatter plots can also tell us a little bit about the sign and uh, strength of a linear relationship. So first of all, I think it's quite obvious what we mean by the difference between a positive relationship and a negative relationship. But what about the strength? Because this scatter plot over here we're going to call a strong relationship, and this scatter plot over here is a negative one. And really what's determining the strength of the relationship in either of these two cases is the degree to which the points uh, differ from the trend line that we've drawn. Okay, so if the points are really close to the trend line, then we're going to say that we have a strong relationship. On this curve over here, the points are actually 
much farther away from the trend line. So the sizes of these differences in this plot are much bigger than the sizes of these differences. And that's going to lead us to call this a negative, I mean a weak relationship between x and y. It's also a negative relationship because as x increases, y decreases. So the sign is, uh, you know, the sign of the relationship or of the slope would be negative. In the case when there is a very uh, flat slope between the two points, where essentially there is no trend that fits this data, then we say that the two variables are independent.